The following special presentation is uh, presented by Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. Well, good morning. 11.30 here in the east, 8.30 in the west. If you're watching overseas, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. How are you? My name is Ron Chuckett, and welcome to the last weekend of the um, of the Major League Baseball season for 1982, or at least the regular season is concerned. What we got going on, I do not know how long we're going to be on for today. We could have a doubleheader. It could be one game. If you were not with us yesterday, the Detroit Tigers and Jack Morris one hit the Baltimore Orioles at the end their regular season meeting. And so the Tigers clawed it within two and a half of Baltimore. And then at the end of yesterday's stream, we quick played the Tigers doubleheader against Cleveland. And Cleveland beat them both games in Cleveland, which now leaves the Orioles in a tie for the American League Championship or East Championship. Their magic number is one. Now, they have a doubleheader against Milwaukee. If the Orioles win the first game, we will only do one game. If Milwaukee, and Milwaukee is about to use Pete Vukovic on the hill, beats Baltimore and Danny Martinez, then we will give you the second game. Now, Baltimore did beat the Tigers in the regular season series seven games to six. So in effect, the Orioles have five chances to wrap this up at home if needed. That's also assuming the Tigers win the last three games against Cleveland and Milwaukee sweeps Baltimore. But let's see if Pete Vukovic and Danny Martinez, and if the Orioles win, they win the American League East crown for 1982. As... Baseball Replay 1982. Today, an American League East pennant special. The Baltimore Orioles and the Milwaukee Brewers from Memorial Stadium. Tonight's game brought to you by Patreon. Stick a tip in the jar if you like it. Patreon.com right this morning. doubleheader was in the afternoon for television purposes and as we bring you to Baltimore on a 66 degree October night we are playing to first pitch probably about 505 Eastern time winds are blowing left to right at 11 and just to emphasize the point again here it is it's three and a half the Orioles have won seven of ten the Tigers cannot lose again this year. They were swept in the doubleheader. So we're going to assume that Baltimore knows that one game gives them the pennant. And they are 50 and 27 at home. Milwaukee, 42 and 34 at home. And losers of seven out of their last 10. Which just goes to show that we're going to do all four games of the series. Because you know that's what's going to happen, right? So Danny Martinez with a full house and a championship on the line, looking for win number 14. He is 13 and 15 on the year with a 4.29 ERA. He's only started against Milwaukee once. Five innings, six hits, three runs all earned. Walked in with didn't strike out anybody. He got the win, but was lit up for an average of 300 and an ERA of 5.40. And that indeed was his last start last weekend when the Orioles swept the Brewers right out of Broadway. So on the year, Martinez 245 and two thirds innings, and this will be his last start of the season. 250 hits, 25 home runs, 137 runs, 117 earned, and he's walked the same. If you are, if you have a binary fetish, you're going nuts right now. 1-1-1 one, 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 and 1-1-1 one, one, one on the walks to the strikeouts. 
then this will be the lineup that he faces in the biggest game of the Baltimore season. Paul Molitor will lead off and play third. Robin Yount at short will bat second. Cecil Cooper is at first, he'll go third. Ken Simmons cleans up behind the plate. Ben Ogilvy is in left, he'll bat fifth. Storm and Gorman Thomas, the center fielder, bat sixth. Ken, uh, Roy Howell will be the DH batting seventh. Charlie Moore, the right fielder, goes eighth, and Jim Gantner will bat ninth with Pete Bukovic on the hill. Defensively for the Orioles, the one difference between today and the last few days is that Gulliver is back at third. So, and Martinez is on the hill. So Gulliver is a five at third. Martinez an eight on the mound. Everyone else is pretty much the same as the last two days, and so we won't need to explain it all again. Tribe fan, is there a way for Mike, need to turn up my mic? Absolutely. Is that better? Is that better? How you doing, Captain Carl? Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Is that good or not? I'll just leave that over here in case it isn't. So it'll be Paul Molitor, Robin Young, and Cecil Cooper leading off. Tons better. Cool beans. Okay. Molly at 282, 19 homers, and 87 RBI. Martinez is ready, and so is Molitor. And let's get this one started. Ground ball to Dower. Over to Murray. One out. Well, hopefully you heard in all that mud that we're only going to play Baltimore until they clinch. So if they win this one, no double header. But if they do clinch, if they don't clinch, then we'll do game two today. And then at the end of the stream, we will do Detroit's and Cleveland's double header from Saturday. Robin Yount at 308. 30 homers and 95 RBI. Martinez delivers. Popped up left side. Lowenstein over by the line. Two away. So Denny giving Earl what he needs right away. Quick batters. Cecil Cooper at 300. 23 homers and 118 RBI. Pitch from Martinez. Ground ball to Gulliver. Over to Murray, and that will retire the side. So everybody roaring on each pitch. We go to the bottom of the first. Milwaukee, nothing. Here comes Baltimore. Turn on the game audio on my end. So Vukovic looking for kind of a disappointing year in the win-loss record, but the rest of his numbers look great. 12 and 10 with a 2.73 ERA. Against Baltimore, however, he only started one game. And he was a rack. Six and two-thirds innings, 12 hits, eight runs, five earned, five walks, and two strikeouts. Hard to believe. So he's certainly not in contention for the Cy Young. And in fact, it was a week ago. 208 innings, 10 home runs, 182 hits. 77 runs, 63 earned, 107 walks, 105 strikeouts. And this is the lineup field face. Al Bumbery will lead off and play center. Glenn Gulliver, that third, will bat second. Ken Singleton, who was the Singleton hit against Jack Morris last night, will bat third. Eddie Murray cleans up at first. John Lowenstein is in left, he'll bat fifth. Jim Dwyer is the right fielder. He'll bat sixth. Cal Ripken at short will bat seventh. Joe Nolan, the catcher, goes eighth. Rich Dower, the second baseman, ninth. And Denny Martinez, who threw 11 pitches in the first. That's a great sign for Earl Weaver and the Orioles. Defensively for Milwaukee, Ben Ogilvy is a nine and seven in left. Gorman Thomas is seven and six in center. Charlie Moore is seven and nine in right. Paul Molitor is a 7 at 3rd around the infield. Robin Yount a 10 at short. Jim Gantner a 6 at 2nd. Cecil Cooper an 8 at 1st. The battery Vukovic is an 8 and Simmons is a 5 and a 6. And Al Bumbery is at 256, 6 homers, 
and 46 RBI. I don't know why you hit that. Kenton Carl. Starting a 68 NL replay. T and Crumpets for Mr. Mike. So here we go. The Orioles are ready to celebrate. Pitch to Bumbery. Base hit left side. Good way for Baltimore to start. 2-0 count. Ground ball in the hole. And now will bring up the Red Hot Glenn Gulliver. His 11-game hitting streak was snapped last night as he pinch hit in the ninth off of Jack Moores. So Gulliver at 274, a homer and 9 RBI. Vukovic deals, and that's one up the middle. Vukovic throws to second for one, and they will not get Gulliver. No throw. So they get the fours, and they trade the fast runner for the slow runner for Kenny Singleton. 238. 12 homers and 6 RBI. Vukovic delivers. Fly ball, right center. Back goes Thomas. He'll make the catch. And Gulliver, who is about as fast as I am, retreats back to first. Two out for Eddie Murray, who, with a big weekend this weekend, can probably salt away the MVP. 324, 27 homers, 113 RBI. National League winners all announced at the end of the season, but those are pretty cut and dried. Cy Young, Manager of the Year, and MVP. Pitch to Murray. Ground ball to Gantner. Flips it over to Cooper, and that will retire the side. The Orioles get a hit, but do nothing else. After one, Milwaukee nothing, Baltimore nothing. So Ted Simmons, Ben Ogilvy, and Gorman Thomas to bat here in the second against Denny Martinez. Simmons at 270, 23 homers, 58 RBI. Here's the pitch, popped up behind the plate. Nolan goes ball towards ball. the screen and can't get it. So it's a ball and two strikes. The 2-2, two -two. struck him out. Now how can it? You got a late called strike three. Ignore the count on the screen. It was two and two, and that's a big one. So Martinez has retired the first four men he's faced. For Ben Ogilvy at 272, 37 homers, and 101 RBI. If the Orioles do win the East, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, be curious who they would go with in game one. You could go with Martinez on three days, Rich rest, but we'll see. Pitch to Ogilvy. Fly ball, right center field. Back goes Dwyer, oh, way back there, and it's gone. So Milwaukee shows the role of spoiler as Ogilvy smashes number 38 on the year. one nothing birdies for Brewers. That ball is crushed. Gorman Thomas at 222, 33 homers, 82 RBI, and still the meanest Fu Manchu in baseball. Pitch from Martinez, popped up left side, Ripken, two out. For Roy Howell at 214, six homers, and 18 RBI. Denny delivers. Brown ball to Murray, takes it to the bag himself, and that will retire the side. So Ben Ogilvy breaks up the party a bit with a solo shot. We go to the bottom of the second. One run, one hit, no errors. Milwaukee one, Baltimore nothing. It'll be Lowenstein, Dwyer, and Ripken. John at 223, 18 homers, and 64 RBI. Vukovic deals, ground ball up the middle, Gantner by the bag at second, over to first, one out. So Jim Dwyer, who has overachieved immensely, 365, four homers, and 23 RBI. Vukovic from the line, 
Base hit, right center field, and Dwyer will hold with a single. And so again, Memorial Stadium is packed to the gills, and they are ready to celebrate. 270 for Cal Ripken on the season, 30 homers and 110 RBI. Rumor has it that Kuhl and the gang are actually in the building to sing if the Orioles can wrap it up tonight or tomorrow. Pitch to Ripken, ground ball to Molitor. He throws it across to Cooper. Ripken's going to run, and he beat it out. So an infield hit. And only one out as Dwyer moves to second. Ripken on first for Joe Nolan at 248. Six homers and 28 RBI. Pitch from Pete. Long drive, center field. Good night. Joe Nolan has hit a three run homer in the dead center field. It's about where Brooks Robinson hit his to win that 70s tournament. And it's three to one Baltimore. There wasn't a blessed thing Gorman Thomas could do. All he could was turn and watch it go. And it's three to one Baltimore. And they are rocking and rolling here like Johnny Unitas just found Burt Jones and Raymond Berry. Even Earl's having fun in the dugout. Here's Dower at 253, five homers and 51 RBI. Joe Nolan. Oh, he does. Here's the pitch to Dower. Ground ball to Cooper. Over to Bukovic. But everybody in wearing Milwaukee blue is starting to slump the shoulders. So 3-1 on the putout for Bumbry. Al one for one, Vukovic, 38 pitches through nine batters, an inning and two thirds, four hits, a homer, and three earned runs. Bumbry singled his first time up. And there's a base hit right center field. Moore picks it up off a hop, and that's the fifth hit for Baltimore. And the fifth time my voice is Correct like Peter Brady. Glenn Gulliver is 0 for 1. Breakfast with Ron. If the Orioles win this game, they win the American League East. If they lose this game, game two, when they'll have chance number two to win the American League East. What was it, the pricing game on the prices right? Ten chances? You got three prizes and ten chances, and you, and you had to write the right number? Well, for the Orioles, it's five chances. And this is chance number one. Pitch to Gulliver. Ground ball to Yount over to first, and that will retire the side. Three runs on the Joe Nolan homer. Four hits and no errors. After two, it's Baltimore three, Milwaukee one. And Charlie Moore, Jim Gantner, and Paul Molitor to face Senor Smoke, El Presidente, Danny Martinez, here in the third. Moore at 248, 12 homers, and 61 RBI. Pitch, fly ball left field. Let it be Lowenstein, and it is one away. Jim Gantner at 291 two homers in 50 RBI. Martinez delivers. Ground ball to Dower by the bag at second. Over to Murray and there's two out. And so Martinez has given the Orioles almost the perfect nine batters. 28 pitches and that's what Earl wants to see. Two and two thirds innings. The one homer to Ogilvie was the only hit and one strikeout. And that brings up Paul Molitor, who's 0 for 1. Martinez deals. Ground ball to Dower over to first. And the sign goes in order. No runs, no hits, no errors. After two and a half, Baltimore 3, Milwaukee 1.
I believe the good captain is playing Sad V. I've been told that's how you pronounce it. Kenny Singleton's 0 for 1. Murray and Lowenstein on deck. Vukovic deals. Ground ball to Gantner in on the grass. Singleton is not fast. Throws over to Cooper for the out. One out for Eddie Murray, who is 0 for 1. Pete deals. Brown ball to Cooper. Flips it over to Vukovic. Two out. For John Lowenstein is 0 for 1. Vukovic delivers. Ground ball to Yap. That's in on the grass. Lowenstein can hustle. And they got him by an eyelash. What a throw by Yap. That kind of caught a rut in the grass because remember the cold still play here and this field is not in good shape but Milwaukee gets the side in order no runs no hits no errors thanks to Robin Young after three Baltimore three Milwaukee one oh thank Dave Gardner um, for that DJ John We'll figure it out. Uh, how, not sure how it's going to work and all that. We are hoping, we're trying to get contact with the developers to find out a little bit more. But keep watching. By the way, loved Sports Time Machine stream the other day. He had the camera on his dice and Stratomatic on the screen, and it just looks so sharp. Great job, Mike. Robin Yount is 0 for 1 as we start the top of the fourth. Martinez delivers, and Robin lines that to left. Lowenstein, flip a coin here. Dives and can't get it. And so Yount is on with a single. Second hit for Milwaukee. And that will bring up Cecil Cooper, who's 0 for 1. Martinez deals and Yount can't go. Oh, he was going to steal but couldn't get the jump. Count as a ball and no strikes to Cooper. Throw to first. Yount is back. Robin, by the way, 14 steals on the year. Pitch to Cooper. Liner up the middle. Martinez, comebacker, throws to first. Yount goes to second, but Cooper is retired one away. We did, weren't sure if we were doing one or two today. So the 11.30 start. If Baltimore wins, they win the division and it's just a one game. But if Milwaukee wins, then we'll have a second game. This is the last irregular start time of the season. Because when we get to the playoffs, I'm not doing two games at the same time. They'll either be noon starts or 7 p.m. starts. Yeah, no, I'm delighted Micah's working for you. Earl has a champagne on ice, and Demo brought the fish and chips. Simmons struck out his first time up, the lone strikeout from Denny Martinez. He delivers, ball four. So it's the first walk for Martinez. So Yount on second, Simmons on first. Ogilvy, who hit the home run in the second at the plate, and he now is the go-ahead run. And there's a shallow fly ball to right. Dwyer comes in. Everybody scampers back, and there's two out. So Martinez gets around that pothole. And now bring in Gorman Thomas, who is 0 for 1. Here's the pitch. Ball four. Not, you don't want to walk him. For Well, you might want to walk him for Roy Howell, who is 0 for 1. So Yout on third, Simmons on second, there's a tying run. Thomas on first, the go-ahead run. Martinez from the stretch, walks home a run. So the pitch to Howell was a 3-1 wide and low, and it's 3-2. And Earl, reaching for the Chesterfields now. Charlie Moore is 0-1. Here's the pitch. 
Ground ball to Ripken, long throw to first, and that will retire the side. So the Brewers push across one on a hit and no errors, but they leave them loaded after three and a half. Baltimore three, Milwaukee two. Yeah, I told you when I talked to you before, possible double header, so we started at 11.30. Sorry, it's almost noon. So Jim Dwyer singled and scored in the second. Dwyer, Ripken, and Nolan, who had the big three-run shot for Baltimore in the second. Pitch to Dwyer, and that's going to be a base hit up the middle. And so Dwyer high-fives the first base coach. Sixth hit for the Orioles, and that brings up Cal, who is singled and scored. I think Steven, Stra Steven could hit. Strasburg could hit. I'm not sure I'd pay money to watch them hit, but they can. Pitch to Ripken, and there's a base hit in the right center. Dwyer goes to third. There's nobody out, and Joe Nolan has already hit a three-run homer. And so again, everybody up, stomping and screaming. Three to two, Baltimore. Bottom of the fourth, nobody out. Pitch from Vukovic. Fly ball, center field. That'll get home one. Thomas will snag it, and the throw goes into the infield, and Baltimore gets that run right back. It's four to two. So Joe Nolan has four RBI in this potential clincher. Here's Dower, he's 0 for 1. 63 degrees, the wind's blowing right out to that scoreboard in left center, and 11. Pitch from Vukovic, popped up, right side. Cooper has all day, and makes, oh, it's out of play. So the count is full. So somebody wearing a 1982 American League East Championship sweatshirt makes that catch. And Max Barney signs him to a contract. Full count. Here's the pitch. Ball four. So through 18 batters, Pete Vukovic is getting shelled. Three and a third innings. 77 hits. Or 77 pitches. That really would be shelled. Seven hits. The three-run shot to Nolan. And one walk. Four runs all in. Bumbry is single twice. He's got Ripken on second, and I believe Dower on first. Yeah, well, Strasburg hasn't been the problem when they made the playoffs the last couple times, or the last time. That wasn't on Strasburg. Pitch to Bumbry. Here's a liner to right field. That's going to drop in front of Charlie Moore. Ripken will hold. We thought more, more dough, but could not get it. And so everyone kind of holds up, and the bases are loaded for Glenn Gulliver. And if he can put a couple home here, his travels will take him right to Anaheim. Struck him out. Vukovic got him to swing on a 2-2 pitch. So base is loaded. And two out for Kenny Singleton, who's 0 for 2. And as Dave said, you saw it actually in the, in the game stream, is that he, that he plays hockey. Pitch to Singleton. Fly ball, center field, back goes Thomas to the track. He makes the catch to retire the side. One run, three hits, no errors. After four, Baltimore, four, Milwaukee, two. And so Vukovic is up to 87 pitches through four. They just run and muled him. So it'll be Gantner and then the top of the lineup, Molitor and Yeah. Gantner's 0 for 1. Martinez just kind of rolling along here like Moonlight Bay. Here's the pitch. Struck him out. Gantner swings and misses on a 1-2 fastball. And that's the first out. So Martinez after 18 batters. Four and a third innings. 
two hits, a homer, three walks, and two strikeouts in 59 pitches. And if this holds, then we'll either, then Denny Martinez will have earned a playoff start. Although I'm not sure if Earl would use three, I mean, obviously Palmer, Flanagan, and McGregor, do you go with potentially four in the playoffs for Earl? Pitched a mile at her. Fly ball, right field. Dwyer goes back and makes the catch in the corner. Milwaukee not liking this playoff talk, but if you missed it, any of the other games this week, Milwaukee was swept at home by Baltimore. And that ended their season. Robin Yount's one for two. He's got a single and a run scored. Fly ball, left center, Bumbry has it, and we're halfway home, and Baltimore is 12 outs away from the 1982 American League East flag. Let's see, Cleveland wrapped up the number one wild card seed. They are feasting on protein-rich diet in Detroit, Chicago, and Kansas City, while Tampa, Boston, Oakland will have heavy doses of the Yankees and the Astros. Um, Mike, we looked in, they're, they don't have it for anybody right now, Mike, they're, but they're looking into it. Now, how they can work around the YouTube restriction, I don't know, but they are trying to work around that. These two are, the two people who are doing it are very, very good about answering questions. So there is, if you just joined us late, there is what's happened. And Joe Nolan might have hit the home run that sent Baltimore back to the playoffs for the first time since 1979. Milwaukee has tried, but they've not been able to mount much outside of the Ogilvy homer against Martinez. Meanwhile, Joe Nolan has driven in all four runs for the birdies. And Denny Martinez is cruising right along after five. Wow, yeah. I love me some Terry Francona, by the way. So Murray, Lowenstein, and Dwyer here in the bottom of the fifth. Eddie's old for two. Vukovic deals. Hopped up. Right side. Gantner, one away. John Lowenstein is old for two. And he grounds one into right field for a base hit in the hole. So that's the ninth hit off of Vukovic. And that will bring up Dwyer, who was two for two and scored twice. And so this crowd is just ready, ready to erupt. Simmons goes out to talk to Vukovic. And there's a fly ball right field. Moore is there. Lowenstein will go back. They have said, because we kind of gamed the system a little bit and had Detroit and Cleveland already do their doubleheader, that if the Orioles win game one tonight, that they technically would do the doubleheader tomorrow, even though in real life it was a doubleheader tonight. If not, they will play game two. So... We will see. Ripken is two for two. Cal, 272 on his rookie year. He scored single twice and scored once. Lowenstein on first, and Ripken draws a walk. So Vukovic has done nothing all day. And now I'll bring up Joe Nolan, who is the biggest folk hero in this city right now. He is homered and hit a sack fly. Four RBIs tonight. Fly ball left field. That won't do much. Ogilvy is there. Makes the catch to retire the sign. In fact, he had to slide on that rutted grass to do it. No runs a hit. No errors. The Orioles have left seven on after five. Baltimore four. Milwaukee two. Um, they had that massive collapse in 2011 demos. 
and they did and I think it was a contract year and so the Boston Press did what they always do they pretty much ran him out of town accused him of a prescription drug problem and uh, sleeping with someone that he shouldn't have and no I'm not making that up Angels aren't dead yet you're fight they got a reason to play for sure and uh, yeah Captain Carl had it but that's pretty much they planted the story I think it was to Shaughnessy in the Globe the Boston Globe that uh, that that Terry had some painkiller issues and uh, liked the company of women not named as white. Pitch to Cecil Cooper is over two. Ground ball to Dower over to Murray. One out. Yeah, I don't know what. I don't think it's kind of beyond help for Vukovic, but if Martinez is throwing a two hitter and. It's not going to take much. Simmons has walked and struck out. He's 0 for 1. Here's the pitch. Ball 4. And so now they got to buckle down again. That, by the way, was the chicken and beer video game clubhouse. I mean, they weren't horribly wrong to do so. How they did it bothered me a great deal. Billy and George were on the same page if they were enjoying the same substance. Ben Ogilvy had that solo shot in the second to make it 1-0 Milwaukee. So the tying run is up for Ogilvy. Martinez delivers, ball four. Yeah, chicken and beer. Did it, Ben. The Gorman Thomas is 0 for 1 with the lock. Runners on first and second. Can't celebrate yet. Pitch for Martinez, ball four, and they're loaded. With, no, with one out. For Roy Lee Howell, who walked home a run in the fourth. So, one out. Baltimore will gladly try to get two. Martinez has walked six and struck out two. And that's a fly ball, left center field. Back goes Lowenstein. He makes the catch against the wall. Simmons will score, it's four to three, but he hit that out at dead center in that wind. And somehow, Lowenstein got that to stay in the yard. So it's four to three. Here's Charlie Moore, he's 0 for two. Martinez deals, ground ball to Ripken. Over to first to Murray, and they got him. So again, the Orioles bend but do not break. One run, no hits and no errors. Five and a half down. Baltimore, four, Milwaukee, three. Is it? I've never had Popeyes. We don't have them here in Vermont. I'd like to try it. I'm sure my doctor would love that. Here's Rich Dower. So it'll be Dower, Bumbry, and Gulliver to face Vukovic. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Dower walks and is 0 for 1. Those clubhouse guys will go get you what you want anyway. Dower, ground ball to Molly over to first for the first out. There's Bumbry. Vukovic, five and a third innings in his last start of 82. Nine hits. The three run shot from Nolan. He's walked two and struck out one. So all four runs are earned. Bumbry three for three. Three singles. And there's a ground ball to Gantner over to Cooper for the second out. Here's Gulliver. Glenn is 0 for three with a strikeout. Vukovic to pitch, ball four. Third walk for Pete. Here's Singleton 0 for three. The Orioles would like some insurance so they can relax a little bit. And Singleton Pence sends that one the opposite way into the Bermuda Triangle of left center. And Gulliver motors over to third. And there's two on, two out for Murray with a run. With a chance to bring home Gulliver. Really, that's what I meant to say. So Vukovic. Kind of hit knee here at the end of a long season. Pitch to Murray. 
popped up left side. Molitor watches it go in the stands. And somebody from Chambersburg, Pennsylvania makes that catch. Wow. How about that? So full count. Three and two to Murray. Here it comes. Fly ball, center field. Back goes Thomas. He'll catch it on the run to retire the side. No runs, one hit, no errors. We played six, Baltimore four, Milwaukee three. Yeah, I don't know what the new update is for the baseball. You can get the umpire's call returned if you're playing, especially if you're playing a modern season. All sorts of neat little gimmicks in the game. It'll be Gantner, Molitor, and Yount to face Martinez here in the top of the seventh. He's only allowed two hits, but he's walked six. Gantner 0 for 2 of the strikeout. Pitch. Fly ball right field. Dwyer, one away. Here's Molly, who's 0 for 3. Martinez through 27 batters, 94 pitches. Six in the third innings. As I said, the two hits. The solo shot from Ogilvy. Six walks and two strikeouts. I do know Chambersburg. My Boy Scout den mother grew up in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. Well, the Brewers can't choke it away. They came into this six pack. But Baltimore doesn't want to choke away their first of chance here. Pitch to Bolliter. Brown ball to Murray. Takes it to the bag himself. Two out. And so Robin Yount, one for three. He is singled and scored. Lowenstein, Dwyer, and Ripken do up in the bottom of the seventh. Martinez deals. Fly ball, center field. Bumbrey is chased back, but it stays in the yard to retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors, and six outs to the playoffs. It's Baltimore four. Milwaukee three. As it looks like this might be our last regular season broadcast of the 82 season. I want to thank each and every one of you for liking, subscribing, tipping to Patreon if you've done so, um, participating in the chat, commenting afterwards. Uh, it just has been a great deal to me. Uh, for you guys to do that. We will do another full season replay come January. Not sure we're going to do baseball wise after the regular or after the postseason is over. But it looks like that the postseason will begin Monday night at 7 from Montreal as the Dodgers and Expos will hook up in the National League Championship Series. But before we get all modeling and get into the heart of the, the, the heat of the season, just a hearty tip of the cap for me to all of you. You guys mean the world. Thank you so much. Now, back to the ball game. I like the house band, I really do. John Lowenstein is one for three. Vukovic delivers. Brown ball, left side, base hit. And so the Orioles want to get this done tonight. And Harvey Keene comes out of the dugout. It's Bob McClure. He was 10 and 6 on the year. He's made his last start. He's out of the pen for the weekend. 4.75 ERA. His last time out was last weekend in that lost series against Baltimore. Two and a third innings. Two hits a run. It was earned. He struck out one. So. If it matters, 21 homers allowed in 166 and two-thirds innings. 153 hits. We're going to pinch hit for Dwyer here. Uh, um, 90 runs, 88 earned. He's walked 70 and struck out 85. So Jim Dwyer will tip his cap. And we're going to go with Disco Dan Ford. Dan at 261, 12 homers and 65 RBI. Runner on first, bottom of the seventh, 4-3, Baltimore. 
McClure delivers. Ground ball to Cooper, and he'll take it to first himself for the out. McClure, by the way, is an eight on the mound. Cal Ripken isn't going to get pinch hit for two for two with a run scored and a walk. So Lowenstein in scoring position. McClure delivers. High fly ball, center field. Back goes Thomas. He makes the catch. Lowenstein tags in the throw to third. Gets away from Molitor. And the run scores. So Thomas gambled. Lowenstein had a 96% chance of reaching third. Thomas, with a decent arm, threw it, but it got away from Molly, and Lowenstein scores. It's 5-3, to three, Baltimore. Am I setting out? No. There is no as-played lineups. <laughs> Only one team made it <laughs> from real life, and that's California. Uh, yep. Oh, not a problem, Tribe fan. My distinct pleasure. Uh, took my son to his first baseball game at Old Memorial. Red Sox Twilight Doubleheader. Great. Watch Weaver get tossed. Yep, that will do it. Um. Well, no, because there's the second game today if it doesn't work. So it still stands. Well, thank you, DJ John, and I appreciate that an awful lot. Al Red Sox fan, Sports Time Machine, ID Jester, uh, baseball demos, all great community creators who love baseball, and not to discount the ones that don't play a lot of baseball. I mean, it's, it's all one big happy family, but, but thanks to you guys. Not a problem. Am I, I'm going to let the um, – I'll take a look. I haven't figured it out yet. I'm just trying to get through though so I know who the four are. So Joe Nolan is up at the plate. 5-3 Baltimore, two out, bottom in the seven. And Nolan is going to come out for Rick Dempsey. And a standing ovation for Joe. As he comes out, so Dempsey at 2.53, seven homers and 34 RBI. We still got the playoffs in the World Series, and we're doing the, you know, we'll be doing AFL football. We'll be doing NFL football, 86 come Labor Day week. And we'll figure out another small baseball project to do to tie us over in the off season. We'll figure out something. Pitch to Dempsey, ground ball to third, Molitor over to Cooper. And so we're going to have some changes here as we start the eighth inning. One run, and that was a big eighth on the hit in the air. After seven, Baltimore five, Milwaukee three. <laughs> and so Dan Ford is an eight and seven in right. Rick Dempsey is a four and a six behind the play. I'm tempted just to let the computer pick the 25 demos because it's done the yeoman's bit part of the work. But what I'll probably do is manual, I'll let the computer pick the lineup. Well, we'll see. It was kind of a mixed thing for that 70s tournament. 24 mile an hour winds out to left center, 57 degrees. Not a drop of rain in sight. And there are 54,000 happy campers six outs away from a pennant. Cooper's 0 for 3. Ground ball up the middle. Dower to Murray, one away. How you doing, Thomas? No, well, fingers wouldn't stay on the roster. If, if you were hurt, you were going to be out. There would be no miraculous injuries. And so the thought of Milwaukee trying to get through the playoffs with Pete Ladd as the closer. So, yeah, if you weren't on the active roster to end the year, you weren't going to be in the playoff roster to begin with. So there wouldn't have been a Raleigh fingers. 
Oh, no, Clinton, I can't. How you doing, Thomas Lorenz? Nice to have you along. Simmons is 0 for 1. He's walked twice and struck out and scored. Pitch for Martinez. Ground ball to Ripken. By the bag at second. Over to Murray. Well, Tribe fan's an Indian fan. So two out. And the Orioles are four outs away. Here's Ben Ogilvy. His solo shot in the second was a lone time today. Milwaukee has had the lead. Martinez delivers, and that's gone. So Ogilvy kind of puts some doubt in your mind of Earl Weaver as he puts another one in the dead center. It's five to four. Milwaukee says, we're tired of hearing about this celebration. So the champagne remains still on ice. And here's Gorman Thomas. It's Dower, Bumbry, and Gulliver. Hitting the bottom of the eighth. And no. They're going to let Gorman Thomas hit. He's going to hit a fly ball to right center. Back goes Bumbry. And he makes a catch against the bullpen wall. He must have run 30 yards. And after seven and a half, Baltimore, three outs away. No One run on the massive homer by Ogilvy. One hit, no errors. It's the Orioles, five. The Brewers, four. So Dower, Bumbry, and Gulliver to face Bob McClure. Well, we'll see about Gulliver. Dower and Bumbry, at least, in the bottom of the eighth. That's Rosen outside. Lou Brock was a good one to go to, Mike. Thanks for joining us, Thomas. Pitch to Dower. Up the middle. Gantner over to Cooper. Don't be don't be apologize. These are all on tape, buddy. You can watch as many of these as you want. Thanks for joining, though. I do appreciate it. So Bumbry three for four. He will bat against McClure. Ball four. And so Baltimore has another run on base. Gulliver will come out. And look, the world's most expensive baseball card is back. Okay, left who can hit a lefty. Gary Renicky, because I can never get I lay his name right. Renicky at 289, 13 homers and 67 RBI. One out, 5-4 Orioles, bottom of the eighth. Got him! It was a swung on and miss on a 1-2 pitch. He swung at a ball. And there's two out for Singleton, who's one for four. Howell, Moore, and Gantner. Stand in the way from the Orioles and the division championship. Pitch to Singleton. Struck him out. McClure did his job. An 0-2 pitch, swung on and missed. Everybody's up. We're starting the ninth inning. Baltimore five, Milwaukee four. Oh, no, that's not a bad drive from Syracuse. Yeah, Ernie Brolio. So Martinez will start the inning. Pitch to, oh, missing a third baseman. Yeah, you kind of have to have that. Floyd Rayford, who's a three, comes in at third. And Earl will try to give Martinez the pleasure of closing this out. Powell has walked twice and somehow driven in two. All for one. Right back to Denny. Over to Murray. Two outs away. For Charlie Moore. And this place is rocking and rolling. You'd think Elvis and the Beatles were here. Pitch to Moore. Ground ball to Ripton. Over to Murray. In time. Yes, it is. And Milwaukee is down to their last out. Martinez steps off the mound to compose himself as this place is really, really rolling. 
Everybody's on the top step. Earl rocking back and forth. Gantner 0 for 3, swinging the bat. He has struck out once. Martinez deals. Right back to Denny. Over to Murray. And the Orioles have won the American League East. Denny Martinez throws a complete game. They pile out of the dugout. Earl waves to the fans in his last year. It came out overnight. This was his last year. They are going to the playoffs. Earl is going to get another bite of the cherry. Baltimore 5, Milwaukee 4. And that'll do it. Danny Martinez wins his 14th. And the Orioles are going to the playoffs. Nine innings. Three hits, four runs, all earned, two homers. He's walked six and struck out two, but it was more than enough. Pete Vukovic, good ERA, 282, but was hammered again. 11 hits over six innings, five runs, four earned, a homer. He walked three and struck out one. Bob McClure, two strikeouts and two innings of relief. But our MVP is Joe Nolan. It was his three-run shot in the second that gave Baltimore the lead. And then his sack fly in the fourth that made it 4-2. to two. And so 93 was Baltimore's magic number. That's it. All the tickets have been punched. The Orioles are going to the playoffs. And so there you have it. I'm not sure how many of these streams that we did. I think I did over 80 games not on most of them live and of course you'll see every pitch of the po every game of the postseason live starting Monday so Monday night at 7 is our next baseball game and it'll be game one of the National League Championship Series Los Angeles at Montreal game two will be Tuesday at noon and then Tuesday night at 7 game one from Anaheim Baltimore at California. Sunday night, we're going to do a wrap-up show, give some awards out, dig in deep into the anatomy of the replay, and tomorrow night, we're going to do some AFL football. We'll get back to that again. Thank you so much. This project's almost done, and it's all thanks to you. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Playoffs Monday. Talk to you tomorrow. Have a good night.